Uh, but let's see. Well, let's see what, what these sets has for us. Yes, and we also got a... I, I can see Sword with that SKL shirt, so shout out to SKL, shout out to Chungi who's in chat. But there we go, first match of Loser. Round two, first match of Loser, top eight uh, on the stream. We've got uh, Gilkyu against Sword, we have Zelda against Kirby, and it's a matchup that we really don't see often, as we mentioned. But it's gonna be Sword uh, coming in blazing, trying to get this talk as fast as possible with that sweet spot forward. And luckily for Gilkyu, it's not enough to take this talk just yet, but Sword pretty much in control of this match, but giving up stage position. Uh, luckily, that neutral is gonna take it back, he's gonna bring back neutral for this match, but trying to get for that weed uh, with uh, Gilkyu. Doesn't punish just yet, but he's gonna be very careful because 84% that's Kirby is pretty much kill percentage already. Yeah, he's very, really, very close to, to lose that stock. He's gonna be very careful right now, and what's, that's what he's doing more spacing and almost like hitting and getting away. Hitting and getting away, that's what he's doing right now. And getting that really good wig actually <laughs> from, from Zelda. Uh, it, it's good from the matchup. Like I, I think it's uh, good to reflect sometimes uh, the card, but uh, uh, he's not he's he's not really used right now. It's just the skin, and he's making it back, doing a lot of uh, damage in the, on the ledge for Zelda. And Sor is not taking that stuff right, right now. Yeah, I mean he's he's brought it back percentage wise because he was Sword who pretty much did like 80% uh, from the first single interaction. So good stuff from Gilkyu for not getting desperate there. Fine. Dash attack and actually being the one that takes the very first talk of this match. So Sword's gonna be have to be the one from play from behind, trying to get the comeback. And yeah, we were talking about Gilkyu not using that neutral be off of Zelda just yet, because I mean we see Sword using it very consistently to get out of trouble in a lot of situations, almost uh, working as an out of shield option for Zelda. And also, just like Gilkyu found the dash attack, Zelda Sword is gonna find that dash attack as well to even stocks out. Yes, the second stock is kind of even. Uh, that Zelda, it's uh, you know getting some damage. Very very careful with that OP. Uh, that's what Zelda do. They're they're sonners, and he's like actually on the other side doing his stuff. But Yuji has a response. He has some backers to say that's that's not even important for me. <laughs> even interrupting that neutral B with the backer, that's very interesting from Kirby. To see and much pressure on the upstage from from that kill Hugh Kirby and March damage not not getting any really good stage control from the sword and uh, the advantage right now is for kill Hugh. Right? Yeah, he was playing that second stock up to per perfection until the moment that sword actually got a hit in and now like sword is the one on control here gil here finding that neutral there which is gonna put sword in an uncomfortable situation trying to come back to the stage good cover option there from gil here can't find the backer hits with the upper that doesn't take the stock just yet but at this point gil here's uh spacing has been on point so far but it's, it's gonna be sword that finds a way to go in we're gonna see a back throw here from gil here which actually surprisingly takes the stock and it's Gilkyu once again who's on the lead, a single stock away from taking this very first game, but we see Sword fighting with her life. Yeah, it's very weird to see a, a throw from Kirby to make it make a kill, but that's gonna be a really good good one and urgent for, for Gilkyu to to be right here because you know Zelda can kill Kirby in a very low percentage, and that's what I think Gilkyu knows it. He wants to have that advantage even even further and uh he's doing it well like having the stage control uh having pressure and be outside from uh, zelda's hitbox that's very important in this match and uh doing many damage in this last talk from sword yeah 122 percent here from gilkyu who luckily for sword can't find a punish there after that up the uh, pretty much leads to nothing, but it's gonna be Gilkyu here fishing for the backer, finds the forward smash really quickly and takes this first game with a pretty solid two stock, I'd say. Very close to being a, a regular game, a single stock difference, but I mean, that 122% from Gilkyu, he just kept very calm, very, very chill, not being pressured by the chance of a single punish taking that second stock off. So good stuff on him, but a, pretty much at the end of the day, a very close match, anyways. Yeah, we're seeing good stuff from Gil. He, he he looks like very comfortable on this matchup. He's he knows where to enter. He knows the timing from each um, Zelda movements, or maybe he knows too much sword. <laughs> Cause yeah. he's like, like he knows he's gonna she's gonna do this and that, and he, then he got the entries. And and that's what, what I saw in the first match. 
he was doing well doing the backers doing the the dash attacks on the right time you, you have to be a very good uh with the timings against zelda uh waiting for the side beat, waiting for the like the the, the projectiles he he sends and then there it goes a very good start right now with those combos but uh sir has a tiny response for that and now we see more of the flowers that Gil he has much pressure for Zora and he's on this second match he's not giving any space for third. Yeah we see Gil he really quickly trying to put Sword off stage because we know how devastating uh, uh Kirby can be off stage with all of those aerials and the way he can cover options on that so he's trying to set off for those as soon as possible but sword of course making it hard for him to punish that he's gonna find here the parry to that forward or once again which luckily for gil he's not enough to take this dog but it's just pretty much a, a, an alert situation right there finds the Oppy with the Ferrari's win takes the first stock and while it did look like gil he was gonna find the stock first sword in a matter of seconds finds the way yeah, that's what this matchup is like. It's really much about the the cell that can kill from many ways to Kirby in early percent, but uh, Kirby has to f find his ways, and that's what we are going to see right now. He found it, he found it, and now we're seeing another combo from Gil Hugh, and more more pressure outside the, the stage and uh oh, start start making making more pressure for him and ooh. Taking more damage now that the, 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 the table has turned. The one that is not coming back for, for the, to the stage is Gil Hugh. Wow. <gasps> and that, that was a very risky move oh. from Star. We're gonna make it to the third stock. Like going for all and both losing their stock right there. I think that's the last thing I expected to happen off stage because it looked like me, to me like Sword had found Gil Hugh's stock, but then Gil Hugh would have reversed it with that forwarder, but none of them made it back. So uh, it's even on the last stock. He's gonna be Gil here trying to turn the momentum on his sword, put on pretty much a, a wall of edge of edge guarding on the second stock. But it's now Gil here putting on the pressure, putting on the damage up on sword 83%. And it's gonna be sword who's gonna break that momentum with that forward there. Once again, trying to pressure, doesn't find the two stock. No punisher from Gil here just yet finds a single hit off the fair. And once again, an off stage situation with sword barely avoiding that down smash, which would have been fatal, which would have been enough to take the stock. But now. Sword fishing for that little aerial that can't take this stock, whether that's forward or backer or upper, any of those could take the stock at this point. But also Gilhu trying to find one of those setups after an air, maybe trying to fish for a, 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 a smash attack near the ledge. But at this point, 127%, anything's gonna do it. Yep, that was pretty much it. <laughs> the backer, yep. he was ready, he she let out the, the shield and he was ready with those kicks. It's uh, it, it was really weird seeing what happened on stage because, it, 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 you know, nothing nothing went as it looked, but uh, good stuff on Gil here because what looked like a bad situation for him turned into uh, enough for him to take the game back because after that he just kept calm and punished on the right spot and took the game back uh, for himself. So this is now 2-0 on his side. Yeah, it's there. It's gonna be f in guilt his favor. This on this for, for these sets. Um, we're going to a very small stage now. Smash Smashville. Mm -hmm. um, very very interesting choice from Sorg. He wants to be closer to Kirby. She doesn't want more space. He's uh, choosing to be closer and to have a a better stage control. I don't know what she's looking right now. Uh, for a kill you, I would think uh, Castella wants more more space, but uh, looks like like she doesn't, and she's she's uh way better on this first first stock, making a bit of bit of damage and getting not that much damage before I oh, see. There we go again. Get it? I think it. <laughs> I think the the comment the curse on your on your side. The counter is at three at this point, but uh. Luckily for Sword, it didn't take this stock just yet, but it just did a lot of damage, and now it's Kill Hugh once again fishing for those options. And right as I said, that it's gonna be Sword actually finding those aerial attacks. Uh, they're just pretty much trading little bits of, of strings of attacks, and it's gonna be a punish there from Kill Hugh with a very quick forward smash to take the first stock. Once again, Kirby looking good with that wick. And be careful here, because this could be a very strong punish, but luckily for Sword, 
Gil, he wasn't on the right spot to get to maximize the damage and that punish. He's gonna try to cheese Sword here with the up beat, which luckily for Sword is not enough to take this stock, but Gil, you 99%, he's gonna have to be very careful. Uh, but right as he said that he's Sword again, once again, with that up beat that could, I mean, let her on a bad spot to take a lot of damage again. Ooh. Yeah, Sword's option, it's like uh, killing with the up beat and he, he's not very effective right now. He's been punished and uh, it's not it's not it's not killing right now, but maybe maybe on one moment. Let's see what Gil he has in response. He has much damage, much much damage. Uh, we see his sword now in the red percentage and losing that stock, even with the forward smash, really really charged and uh, yeah, getting really hard on on sword, We're going down to all and now it's one stock down. Let's see what she has for. Uh, for in this his last her last stock. Yeah, potentially looking like her last stock on, on the side of top eight, because the way Gil he's playing and with this advantage, it could be over in a matter of second fish for those. And luckily for Sword, that second hit off of the obby is not gonna connect. They're gonna take the stock just yet and with 94%. Already over a hundred. Yo, he's just looking for a read here. Tries to go with that burning hammer. Doesn't take the stock just yet. Backer from Sword trying to set him up on an uncomfortable situation. Can't connect once again with the second hit of the Obby. That's gonna take her back to the ledge. But trying to use all of Zelda's tools here to her advantage to find that second stock. But Hugh Hugh being very patient and once again trying to set himself on the right place in the right time to punish almost on the right place there to get his smash attack off of that is gonna be enough throw here from sword which luckily for Gilki is not enough to take the stock but i mean with the pressure that both of them are putting on this could either go to the last stock or just end up in a, in a surprise attack from Gilki. oh there we go <laughs> well did you have a com commander cards but in favor of the one you're commanding because <laughs> that's the second time you say it's uh, about to win and he wins <laughs> Maybe they're listening to me. They're like, "Oh, okay. I guess it's it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to kill." <laughs> <laughs> the last trump actually a tool that we haven't seen uh, very often in this top eight, but coming up at the t at the right time for Gilhu to find that last stock. So congratulations to him who once again keeps moving on the loser side, and it's gonna be the end of the road for for Sorry here. And